Hello, cupcakes. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where and when you are. Cal Scattergood here, and it is time for part five of our Hard West Let's Play playthrough. So let's get right into the game, shall we? And uh, see what we have. We have to go to the laboratory and analyze the data. This scenario revolves around uh, Solomon and him doing some research in different areas and uh, figuring out what he can figure out in the harshness of the Old West. So Solomon remained in Trumercliff's old laboratory. He had truly made it on his own now. Uh, let's see. Do we want to start more research? Do we want to analyze the data? The data, oh yes, because we uh, last time picked up several different documents in our last mission. The documents displayed a clear pattern. When patients entered the asylum, they typically got better and went back home. There, there, their symptoms inevitably worsened and they would return, worse off than before. The same effect seemed to happen to Trumercliff himself. The process was highly unusual. Father Gilmer was determined to find out if there were other areas affected by the plague in other parts of the country. Interesting. So we want to go to the railroad station to find out more about the plague of madness. Uh, or we could just, you know, go exploring. Because I think you get rewarded for this game for sort of exploring everything. Uh, because what I found out from our first scenario was that we had the optional to go to the Mexican town and clear out the bandits. And we decided to go to the homestead first. And that ended the scenario. So now I'm kind of paranoid about whether I should do everything or how what it takes to do everything before anything else happens. Uh, so we'll see here. Solomon arrived at the scene of a terrible catastrophe. Inside the crashed train sat a single conscious man surrounded by bodies. He was covered in blood but otherwise appeared well. He introduced himself as James Scheffler and assured Solomon that he had once been a doctor. He asked whether Solomon or his companions needed any help. Uh, and our only option is to leave, so I guess we'll leave Dr. James Scheffler all by himself. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not supposed to go there yet. Um, <laughs> Let's take a look at this ghost town. Oh, and we have the swamp open and the seer hut. And there's a... The railroad station is up here. Let's swing by the ghost town before we go to the railroad station. See what's in there. The inhabitants of this town had become either so crazed or so terrified that they had left. Seemingly suddenly and all at once, buildings stood abandoned as decay slowly crept in. Solomon wondered whether they had anything had left anything useful behind. Uh, we're going to perform a thorough search. Oh, allowing the madness of the place to leave an imprint on his mind or only a short moment to look for interesting items. No, we're going to perform a thorough search. We are a scientist. And science is about thoroughness, whether it brings madness or not. The search yielded several items, including liquor from a secret stash and the notebook of Sheriff Turner's deputy, Dead Eye Dean. Dean wrote that Sheriff Turner was arresting lawful citizens for crimes they didn't commit, and every accusation ended on the gallows. Sheriff Turner had become convinced that every person in his town was a criminal. After reading through the notebook, Solomon felt this tainted place had left a mark on his soul. Received 20 cash, three bottles of liquor, two assorted parts. But it doesn't necessarily say anything really bad happened. I mean, that's that's okay. I still want to know what this giant clock is. Let's go over there. <laughs> Might as well, right? Solomon met J.M. Hobie, an engineer who had developed what he called the world's clock. The device counted the time remaining until doomsday. Solomon asked about the clock in detail and, seeing the dedication of the watchmaker, decided it was his duty as an inventor to help with its construction. Oh, we need parts. We need eight assorted parts. Oh, good nor- good, uh, bleh, bleh. good lord. Well, uh, we don't have eight assorted parts, but we can see what he has to trade. What do you have to trade? He's got assorted parts. And I have assorted parts. And if I bought his three assorted parts, then I would have my five and his three, and that would make eight, right? So I'm sensing an easy way to finish the quest here. Or we have the option of giving those assorted parts to the Native Americans 
in order to help them learn to use guns. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm kind of interested in this whole doomsday clock thing. Like, let's take let's take his three. I don't I don't even know if this is gonna work. If this works, it's gonna be hilarious. And that's 21 gold. What do I have? Do I even have gold? Sure. I've got stuff. I've got stuff. Uh, I don't think I have gold. cash. I ha yeah, I have 177 cash. We could give him... 21, eh? I don't know. Let's give you one of these. Let's give you... A ginseng? What's a ginseng do? Improves sight? Uh, da, 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 da. These are all consumables. Increases max maximum HP. Give him a couple of those. That's 10. And then we can just give him some cash. Let's trade that. If this works, I would be so impressed. Okay, giant clock. Yes, it worked. Okay, the watchmaker needed parts. Yes. Solomon's engineering skills were insufficient to help the watchmaker. What? What? I have eight of those. Oh, my engineering skills. Oh, because we haven't researched engineering. Can we do that yet? I don't think we can do that. Let's see if we can. We're totally off track here, guys. Start your research on engineering. Uh, requires a blueprint, assorted parts, and noise bombs. Sure, let's do that. Invented and patented assorted parts and the noise bomb. Excellent. Okay, so go back. Uh, leave. Now let's go to the world clock. Still insufficient? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. All right, well, I guess let's go up here then to the railroad station. We'll see what's going on. Solomon felt weak and insecure. His mind was constantly distracted. He was plagued by strange dreams, which inspired him to create a strange new blueprint. Madness imminent. Solomon Delir is now affected by vertigo. But we got a blueprint. Solomon found an abandoned telegraph station and train yard. Official reports and private letters lay scattered everywhere. Solomon guessed a wealth of information must be hidden in those papers. Some might even hint how far the madness had spread. Let's begin research. While Solomon read everything he could get his hands on, the persons guarded the telegraph station. The first round of documents he read were worthless, but Solomon continued, determined not to miss any clue. He hoped his zealousness would not allow Turner's men to get the drop on him. Yeah, keep going. The endeavor took several days and was endlessly frustrating. Solomon considered walking away at many points. None of the letters from the neighboring states mentioned anything about the plague. Solomon felt he was missing something important. He was exhausted, but still carried on reading far into the night. Uh-oh, prepare for battle. What? No, oh no, okay. So Solomon still has his six shooter and his Western rifle. Persons should all have their things. Navy gun and deadly derringer, scope and deadly derringer, and shotgun. And, oh, plus 50 max luck. Luck would be good. Let's get some luck on this guy. No? Yeah, holy amulet. Put some luck on that guy because he runs out of ammo so fast that he might need to uh, dodge a few things. Uh, we have the bloodstained shirt, which protects from crippling injuries. This guy, look at this guy's heat. I'm gonna put that on him. Um, and what else do we have? We have two blueprints all of a sudden. Trimmer Cliff's notes. Nope. It's not a thing that we need. Okay. And let's open the card screen. Do we have anything new? We do. We have the King of Hearts. And we have the Ace of Hearts. King, Ace, and Ten. Ten, Ten. King, King. Who's our... Let's give the King to the green guy here. And then he gets plus four movement for having a pair in his hand. 
We also have the Ace of Clubs. Plus 10 luck, plus 10 luck. Uh, who needs some luck? Not that guy, because that's who we gave the trinket to. So let's give the aces... Wait, what does he use? This guy. Hang on. Close. Uh, the blue one. He uses the scoped rifle. Oh, I don't want to give that to him. You know what? Um, oh, we're not giving that to him. We're giving it to the green guy? The green guy. He's already got a pair of kings. Ten and ten. Oh, we could give each of them a pair. Aim for that guy and luck for this guy? 170. No, we don't want him to... And this guy has plus four sight. No, you need sight because you have the elephant thing. I keep calling it the elephant gun, but it's the scoped rifle. Okay, let's... um. Let's double check these guys. So, you have the four movement, and you're, yep, you're more of the mover person, mover and shaker. You have the elephant thing, your aim is 60. 65, 60, 50. Wow, you guys all suck on aim. And you're, he's got the holy amulet and plus four movement, plus four movement plus four movement, because they all have a pair. Okay, but, and one more time, uh, gray guy has 10 aim, blue guy has, well, yeah, 10 aim, blue guy's got plus eight sight, and green guy's got plus 20 luck. Okay. That looks good. 910 Jack. Okay. Sure, let's proceed to combat. Solomon's investigation of the Plague of Madness led him to a railway station and telegraph hub. After spending days reading through the logs, his posse came under attack. Well, all right then. Solomon found himself in a maze of trains and stations. Okay. The scattered notes he'd found rearranged themselves to a giant telegraph hub. Oh the Pinkertons no. Stared at him with hollow eyes, listless and lethargic. Oh no. When he finally heard Trimmer Cliff's voice telling him to find his answers, Delir realized he was dreaming. Oh, Delir's hallucinating. Solomon has to collect the notes. There's three of them. There's one two of them over here. Oh, good lord, this map is huge! And then gather all notes in the required number of turns, 20 turns. So, we need to get the crap to where we're going. So we're gonna go this way first, I guess. Or what's closer? Or we go this way. Like, in here? Yeah, in there. And in there. Those two are close, and then we gotta make a run for it. Or, we go to this one first. Let's go to this one first. And then make a run for it? 20 turns, good lord. All right, so we are looking at A persons, B, C, and Solomon. Solomon is the only one that can pick up these silly notes, so we're gonna bring him here. And then we're gonna bring Persons's out here one at a time and sort of guard him. Okay. You're gonna come way up here. Just to kind of scout ahead. There is a dude inside that house. There is a, whoa boy, okay. Chicky poo, things to shoot at. Uh, we have stuff. Voodoo. This guy is going to come over. Can he ricochet? And then to her? That wouldn't actually do that, would it? No, hang on. Wait, we could just shoot her straight out. 77% chance to hit? Sure. Shooter. 
Nightmare of Delusion. Bamf, done. Taken care of. Oh, here comes that guy. He is not happy. Oh, that luck. And then this one. Oh, he's just moving around. Nope. Okay. This guy is crap out of luck. So, let's see. Can anybody shoot him? Can he shoot back? Of course he can shoot back. Eh, cone shot's not gonna do it. Um, he's got a triple gauge shotgun. Is that gonna hit him? 66% chance to hit. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay, Nightmare of Insanity was killed. Excellent. Um, now who do we have here? We have our Navy gun, we have our scoped rifle, and we have Mr. Solomon here. Okay, so Solomon has to come up here. We're just gonna move him up there right now. And then you, if you were in here, would that or would that not allow you to shoot that guy through the window? I'm assuming it would. So go in there. Nope. <laughs> not going to be able to shoot the guy from there. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Can we ricochet? No valid targets in range. Nope. No ricocheting. Not going to happen. I can't believe we can't hit that guy. All right, well, then I guess we'll go there. Oh, but maybe you can. He can't shoot that guy. And I don't think we can shoot him through the window because those boxes are stacked pretty high. So what if we were to come over here? We still can't shoot him from there. Um, but what if we were to go here? Just sort of move up and around. Okay, and then Solomon... If Solomon were here, he might be able to hit that guy. Let's try it. Go there. Oh! Damn. Alright, um... Shoot that dude. 59% or 54%. I don't know, let's try it. Hey! All right. Kill your nightmares, Solomon. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about, my friend. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, you come up here. You move up here. We're just sort of leapfrogging here, just like we would in, uh... Wow. These turns are going fast. Okay. You come up you come way up here. Come way, way up here. Like up there. And then Solomon is going to... Wait, what happened to Solomon? Why can't Solomon hide anymore? We can't... Are we out of... Yeah, we're out of... Okay. I need to pay more attention to my action points. Uh, you're gonna leapfrog up here. And then I think we're gonna end the turn right there. Okay, so now, Solomon, you're gonna come up here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then a person's with the Navy gun is going to shoot. We don't have a whole lot of cover because I just put Solomon in the way um, we need to clear this room, though, is what we need to do. So we are going to go here. Oh god, everything's on fire. But we can shoot that guy. Yeah. Oh, that's with the scout scoped rifle. Shoot. That's okay. He can reload from, from there. Um, and then you're gonna come up here. Because then we're going to head this way towards the other notes after this. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to reload. No. That's A person's. A person's is going to come over here and sort of 
check that out. He's gonna scout ahead for us. Okay. And sea persons is going to... We want to come over to this hand here. God, that's so far away. Holy crap, that is so far away. Okay, so we have to kind of sort of come through here, maybe? Wow. All right, whoops, hang on. I'm totally confused as to where we are right now. Okay, so let's go here. All right, back to Solomon. Solomon is going to grab these notes. Where are the notes? Grab those notes. It was clear to Delir now. The madness existed only within this region. Hmm. Shroomer Cliff's voice urged him to find more clues. Find more clues. Okay. Um. So you're gonna come up. <sighs> Yeah, right up here for now. And then we're gonna tab and you're gonna come over here. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda leapfrog up here. It's definitely not the most direct way. You're gonna come over here. But if we can, if I'm correct, this game doesn't keep throwing waves at you. It just like has a certain amount of enemies per map. So in that case, if we throw these guys up ahead and uh, they clear the way, then we're good. You come up. I'm up there from the side. Okay, next turn. Where's Solomon? Solomon, you need to run as far and as fast as you can, my friend. You're gonna sit right there. And then Persons is going to come up. I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself here. I wanna kinda move up and Wait, which one is which one am I on right now? <laughs> let's let's bring you way up here. You're way up here to bring up the rear. That dude's gonna come up here. Oh hi! Oh hello! Luck minus 20. 100 percent chance to hit. Boom. Headshot. Okay, that worked out well. Um, you are going to go... I guess you're gonna go up here? I don't want to take him that far up. Let's put him there for one action point. And then, let's put him... Ugh. I don't know, let's, let's pass his turn for now. Okay. So we don't have, like, a second enemy here. Let's put him there and see what happens. Mr. Custom Scoped Rifle, 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 Rifle is gonna come up here and then he's gonna reload. Yep, reload. Mr. Solomon is going to run up as far as he can while still being sort of in cover, like right there. Uh, you are going to come over here? Like here? Okay. So then Mr. Buddy is going to come up here. And you are going to go over... You know what? Just stay right there. Just stay right there. Solomon, get your hiney up here. We need you now to be up here. Because I don't think we have anything to worry about back here. Like, nothing. 
Um, so this Mr. Persons with the scoped rifle is going to, wow, he can get all the way up there. Do it. Just get right up there. And if you find anybody, let us know. We'll take care of it for you. Um, this guy is going to go right at this door. Because that's going to be third location to scout. Um, Solomon, I think you're okay to move forward. So we're going to move this guy, leapfrog him up there. And we're going to end turn. Where's Solomon? Down here. And you are going to grab that. This is Another this is not mystery. as bad. Why did the asylum patients relapse after returning home? The solemn voice intoned that there were too many unknowns. Hmm. Okay. So group two of notes done. Uh, we need to. You're gonna come over here by this door. Yeah, there's definitely a dude in there. Um, you are going to, he can't move up very far. If you stand there, I highly doubt that he's gonna be able to shoot through that window, but we're gonna move him up to that room. And then, oh, you can shoot him. You can scoped shot him. Insufficient action points, but we can definitely try to shoot him from here. Oh, we can definitely hit him with the Derringer. Maybe. Ice. Nightmare of Violence was killed. Excellent. Um, so let's put this guy in here just as additional cover. And is Solomon's action points are depleted, so we're gonna restart the turn and just continue to move him as close as possible to these notes so that we can get that uh, final note before we run out of turns. That is not you. Only Solomon can do that. I screwed up. I touched the wrong thing. You get over here. Just just stand over stand over here. Solomon, you get those notes. The old man had said Got that it. A comet appeared the night the madness started. Realization thrilled through him. Delir was ready to make his conclusions. Mm. He knew that certain physical substances like mercury could cause madness. If that were true, then the plague could have a physical source. What if the comet had become a meteor? Could that be the cause of all this? The maze receded from view. Trumercliff's voice faded, distant, but satisfied. Nice! All right, so mission complete. Let's find out the aftermath of the mission here. Solomon Delir and the person set out to confront the plague of madness overtaking the land. Finding the source. A flash of light and excited shouting woke Solomon from the nightmare. It took him a moment to regain his bearings. One of the persons shouted that they'd discovered a cache of gold under the station floor. Nice! Solomon, however, could think of nothing but the source of the madness. He was now convinced that the meteor had crashed somewhere in these lands. He needed to find out where. But first, he would make sure he had the right tools in his workshop. Solomon didn't get any rest that night. The nightmare he'd had at the telegraph station weighed heavily on his mind. He worried he might have to take an, he might have taken the first step toward madness. All right. Well, you guys, that is about enough time for this episode. So we're going to call it right there and we will be back for part six next time. You guys have a wonderful night and I will see you again next time.